Ever wonder what bizarre inventions the groovy decade cooked up besides bell bottoms and disco balls? Prepare to have your mind blown. From portable TVs the size of bricks to egg-shaped personal sound systems, the 1970s was a wild frontier of technological experimentation. Get ready to feast your eyes on 10 strangest 1970s tech gadgets you've never seen before. Number 10. Mattel Electronic Football Mattel Electronic Football, a peculiar star of the late 1970s tech landscape, emerged in 1977 as a groundbreaking handheld game. This peculiar gadget, a far cry from today's sophisticated consoles, captured the imaginations of millions. Its simplistic LED display represented a football field where a bright blip embodied the player navigating against dimmer defensive lights. With basic controls for movement, players aimed to score touchdowns, the rudimentary graphics demanding a vivid imagination. Despite its limitations, no passing, just running, this groundbreaking device became a cultural phenomenon, a strange yet beloved artifact that kick-started the portable gaming revolution. Number nine, Coleco Telstar Arcade. The Coleco Telstar Arcade launched in 1977, stood out as an eccentric entry in the first generation of home consoles. Its most peculiar feature was its triangular design, each face housing different integrated controllers, paddles for pong-like games, a steering wheel with a gear shift for racing, and a light gun for shooting. Games were loaded via triangular cartridges inserted on top, a novel concept for the time. Despite its innovative control scheme and cartridge system, only four cartridges were ever released. The Telstar Arcade, while ambitious, arrived late in the first console generation, overshadowed by the rise of cartridge-based systems like the Atari VCS. Its unique design, however, cemented its place as a truly strange and rarely seen gadget of the 1970s. Number eight, the Pong Home Console. The Atari Home Pong Console, launched in 1975, wasn't just a gadget, it ignited a revolution. Emerging from the arcade hit, this dedicated console, often sold through Sears, brought the simple yet addictive table tennis simulation into living rooms. Two paddle controllers and a dial offered rudimentary control over on-screen bats swatting a white square. While primitive by today's standards, its impact was monumental. Home Pong democratized video games, transforming them from arcade novelties to a family entertainment staple. Its massive commercial success paved the way for the burgeoning home console market, influencing countless successors and solidifying its place as a pivotal, albeit strange in its simplicity, piece of 1970s tech history. Number seven, the eight-track tape player. The eight-track tape player. A curious relic of the 1970s, it was a bulky contraption promising portable music. Imagine a chunky plastic box swallowing a continuous loop cartridge. With a satisfying clunk, music would begin, often abruptly mid-song as the tape cycled. These players graced shag-carpeted living rooms and dashboards of gas-guzzling cars, offering a soundtrack to bell-bottomed adventures. While seemingly futuristic then, the eight tracks limitations, clumsy size, unreliable mechanics prone to jamming, and the inability to easily skip tracks, now paint it as a wonderfully odd footnote in audio history a testament to a decade's unique blend of innovation and impracticality. Number six, the Sprack and Spell by Texas Instruments. Texas Instruments Speak and Spell, launched in 1978, wasn't just a toy, it was a technological marvel. This bulky bright orange gadget with its distinctive robotic voice was one of the earliest handheld electronic devices to use synthesized speech. Utilizing a single chip voice synthesizer, the TMC-0280, it helped children learn to spell and pronounce words, a novel concept at the time. The Speak and Spell, with its membrane keyboard and simple display, stood out amongst the more analog toys of the era. It represented a significant leap, bringing digital technology and synthesized speech into the hands of children, making it a truly unique gadget of the late 1970s. Number five, the laser disc player. Emerging in 1978, the LaserDisc player, initially marketed as DiscoVision, was a peculiar giant in the late 1970s tech landscape. This analog optical disc format, with its substantial 12-inch platters, promised superior audio and video quality compared to VHS tapes. Despite its technical prowess and features like freeze frame on CAV discs, 
the LaserDisc faced limitations. The large non-recordable discs and relatively expensive players hindered its widespread adoption. While finding a niche among video files and for industrial uses, it was ultimately overshadowed by the convenience and recordability of VCRs, marking it as a fascinating yet ultimately niche technological curiosity of its time. Number four, the Clairol Pretty Power Hairdryer. The Clairol Pretty Power Hairdryer, a notable gadget of the 1970s, wasn't just about drying hair. It embodied the era's fascination with portable beauty technology. Launched by Clairol, a prominent name in hair care, this handheld dryer often sported a vibrant color palette typical of the decade. More than a simple appliance, it sometimes came with attachments for styling, reflecting the growing desire for versatile at-home hair solutions. While perhaps not the strangest tech of its time, the Pretty Power Dryer captured the spirit of convenience and personal grooming that defined much of 1970s consumer culture. Number three, Magnavox Odyssey. The Magnavox Odyssey, launched in September 1972, holds the distinction of being the world's first commercial home video game console. Conceived by Ralph H. Baer, this pioneering system connected to your TV, overlaying simple white shapes onto the screen. Players then used physical plastic overlays to simulate colorful backgrounds and game scenarios, from tennis courts to ski slopes. Controlled by two paddle-like devices, the Odyssey offered a unique, if rudimentary, gaming experience. It even came with non-electronic accessories like dice and playing cards to enhance gameplay. Though lacking sophisticated graphics or sound, the Magnavox Odyssey bravely ushered in the age of home video games. Number two, the Clapper. Step back to the era of shag carpets and disco balls, and you might have encountered a peculiar gadget, the Clapper. Emerging in the late 1970s, this sound-activated switch promised a futuristic convenience. Imagine controlling your lamps or television with a simple clap. While seemingly straightforward, this early foray into voice-activated technology was often more whimsical than practical. Susceptible to triggering from coughs or even the TV itself, the clapper, despite its flaws, offered a glimpse into a future where technology responded to our sounds a precursor to today's sophisticated smart home devices. Number one, the HP 35 Scientific Calculator. The HP 35, launched in 1972, was a groundbreaking gadget. This pocket-sized device was the first handheld scientific calculator, a revolutionary leap from the bulky desktop models and the ubiquitous slide rule. Imagine fitting transcendental functions like logarithms and trigonometry into your shirt pocket. Priced at $395, it was initially marketed towards engineers, but quickly became a sensation. Its ability to perform complex calculations with 10-digit precision rendered the slide rule virtually obsolete. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for latest updates about the cinema industry.